like brand online is ultimately bemoaning and celebrating my depression. Yeah, that's 99% of the full internet. You know, struggling with crippling sadness and truly loving it. Never in an anxious moment and honestly, it's gorgeous. Ew, when did that become a thing? What? You know, genuine neuroses and adverb. Ironic detachment in a breezy tone. It's so easy, it's cheap, it's pandering. You're kidding, right? What? I invented that. I don't think that's true. Yeah, I guess it's not. It felt like it was, though, until I, like, said it. I hate realizing that everything's been said before. And And honestly? honestly? Okay, magic. We love. I hate how fun it is. It is fun, but also deeply unhealthy. Yeah, nothing is healthy. That's my thing. I think people actually do get something out of you sharing the sad parts of yourself, though. Even if it makes you sadder. You shouldn't do anything that makes you sadder. I know, but I don't know. I just have this thing in my head. I I don't know. I feel like maybe I read it somewhere once, but it's this idea that Space Jesus was like a lobster and he was able to take in everyone's pain, their sickness, their sins, or like a lobster eating up whatever sinks to the bottom of the ocean. And then he filters it or something. And somehow that's what we're supposed to do. And you know, I don't really believe in anything, but it, it, it's amazing. That stuff like sticks with you somewhere because I don't know, part of me still thinks that maybe that's our job, to be lobsters. And on some level that's beautiful. Like, I mean, what a gift to be able to relieve someone's suffering. And maybe heaven is just a world where we're all doing that for each other all the time. But, but on another level, I don't know, I'm just really, tired and I'm really young and I'm already so tired and I'm definitely blowing this all out of proportion and literally talking about the internet of all things but I don't know I I just don't think I want to be a lobster anymore I don't think what is a lobster